So let's see if our snake, after we change the direction of the head, hits the wall. And it's actually very simple. What we have to do is simply check the x and y axis and see if the x is less than 1 or greater than 10 and if the y is less than 1 or greater than 10. Let me just show you. If we hit the wall here, let's say to the left, then obviously we are hitting it along the x axis and we hit the x with the index of 0. So if it's less than 1, then we hit the wall on the left. If x is greater than 10, then we hit the wall on the right. And of course, if the y is less than 1, then we hit the wall on the top. And if the y is greater than 10, then we hit the wall on the bottom. So it's a very simple if statement. We'll do a if the snake xy, and we are checking the head, so it's the index 0. So let's check the x coordinates and see if it's hitting the wall on the left, so it would be less than 1. Or if the snake is hitting the wall on the right, so it again is the 0 coordinates for the x and checking if it's greater than 10. Or we are checking if the snake hits the wall on the top, so snake xy with the index 0 and y coordinate and see if it's less than 1. Or, and I'm sure you already know, it's the snake xy, 0 index for the y, checking if it's greater than 10. So these are the four cases where the wall would be hit if the snake is on these coordinates. And if that happens, we'll simply call the game over and display the message. And we can also refresh the game board. So we will do picture game board dot refresh. And we don't want to do anything else. We don't have to check if the snake hit itself because the game is over. So we can return from the event. So next we can check if the snake hit itself.